What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Married to Film. I'm Ralph, and this is Shamanda. Hey. Right now, we're episode eight of season four of Battlestar Galactica, What's and going we're gonna on? go ahead and get going on this one. Is the president dead? We we have no information. Are you really fascinated by the silence? No, there's no truth to that, at least as far as we know. Well, then what the hell do we know? I asked Admiral Adama to come and answer our questions directly. Unfortunately, he wouldn't take my call. She's gone. And the fleet needs reassurance and stability. Well, threats of the kind that only its military commander can offer. If this fleet needs reassurance, then you reassure them. That's your job now. You can tell Zerg. Go to hell. Mm. I trusted you. I just ask that you please don't take it away. I'm afraid the brig is no place for a little girl. Guards. Oh man, man. Y'all Sharon's man. Y'all trigger happy for him. Do you honestly think that your father will hand over power to this administration? No. Recon Raptor just reported back the resurrection of Gone. No sign of the base ship carrying the president suing us for the Right or wrong, Adama will never recognize you as president, and we need someone he will. Now the quorum has a legal authority to appoint the interim president in a time of crisis. And I suppose you have someone in mind. Don't say Tori. No, himself. No. Well, good luck with that. You see the problem? But you have taken the pulse of the fleet and you know character. And frankly, you need a reason to get out of this room. Unless you want to start discussing what's been keeping you here. <laughs> good point. I understand you've developed a relationship with the <laughs> prisoner. Uh, it's not the word I'd use, but she has been more cooperative. See if she'll tell you anything about the hub. That's it. Carry mm -hmm. on. So, do you love me? Yeah. What? Do you always love me? I've been honest with you. I don't believe this. You're asking me. Uh-oh. This is not a drill. This is not a I don't know what kind of mind games you are playing with me, lady, but it ends here. Skulls, take the wheel. I'm going for a walk. Safety line secure. Moving toward the raptor. It's Pike. Oh, man, hey, hold on. That's the book this that, uh, the shuttle. yeah, the that Rosalyn had. The bishop. Yeah. Laird was able to salvage the flight data recorder, puts the originating jump point deep in Sector Delta 9. Does your father have some other place he wants to go? What? Where the hell did they go? Why didn't they tell us? Why I gotta keep telling you? I know, everything. every move they make the is no more. It's aggravating. Galactica racetrack. <laughs> We've located the source of the transponder. Sandman's bike roll, right? No Sandman. Affirmative. Keep searching. We're getting radiation signatures from multiple nukes, Ooh. base ship fragments, other debris indicative of resurrection technology. <laughs> Detail for raptors, stay behind. They keep searching until they find something concrete. Give my order. How's this going to affect the president? Ooh. Breaking her treatment. Assuming no other changes in her circumstances? Yes. Well, the Lawson really kicks your ass, so she actually might feel better at first. I ran some tests on your son on prisoner. Watch out. What happened? She's pregnant. Guess what I found? What'd you find? I know that you've been spending a lot of time interrogating the six, and you turn off the cameras. I'm not torturing her, if that's what you're worried about. I'm not. <laughs> that I could almost understand. Whoa! This I can't. Cottle tells me she's pregnant. Do you deny it? You don't. Did I say she's pregnant? You can't! What the hell have you been thinking? What do you think Alan would say about this? I don't you're all out of this. What do you think Alan would say about her husband? He's gonna hit him. Prison. You motherfucker! <laughs> uh, 
You know how many times I've had to repair this thing. I know, right? Dang it! What are you gonna do with that woman? What are you gonna do about Laura? <laughs> have the raptors and the civilian ships begin their search for Phantom's last known position. I've already got two missing pilots and hardly enough birds left to protect this fleet. My people are going to feel like they're being asked to go on suicide missions. I'm not asking. Mm. They did it with you. Mm -hmm. You're dismissed, Captain. Girl, he didn't ask for your opinion. Mm. <laughs> did you think that was an opinion thing? Mr. Lampkin, what are you doing here? Tom Zarek may not be an ideal president. He's about to tell him. Mm -hmm. We could do worse. There are limits to my realism. Mm. Who you got? All right. I just want to spell out one name. Uh -huh. Yeah. Show us the board. Yeah. Oh, dang. Okay. We found our candidate. Someone the quorum won't hesitate to approve. Congratulations, Mr. President. My name was never on that list. Of course not. That would be too late. But it is everything. <laughs> Savor your victory, Mr. Adama. Because you'll never get the chance to serve. They killed my cat! They, those debased dregs of humanity out there! Put the gun down. And not me. That's right. That was about to say. I'm telling you. Join my team. I'm gonna make a difference in this fight. Then swear it. I, Leland Joseph Adama, do now avow and affirm. And I take the office. The president of the 12 colonies. Oh, I thought she had a gun back there. <laughs> without any moral reservation or mental evasion. And I take the office of the president of the 12 colonies of Cobalt without any moral reservation or mental evasion. This is a fragment. <laughs> You're the only man I can trust. In case you forgot, my last term at the helm was a complete disaster. It was a long time ago. You're not the same man as you were. You show sure away. Mm -hmm. You're not even the same man who came back from your camp. Sure, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you found out a lot about yourself. He's still yeah, sure did. Yeah. You really begin to imagine. And you lead the people to Earth the best way you can. You lead us stay here too long already. Yeah. Any other last orders? Just one. Take care of your baby. Give Athena back her daughter. She needs her family. We all need her. Waiting alone in a raptor while the rest of the fleet jumps away. That's not just getting in a plane. Where are you going? At least this time I'm only risking my own neck. So I guess it won't matter if it's president. I order you not to do this. Why are you doing this? Because I can't live without her. Oh. oh. And Laura's going to get to the rendezvous point. I have to believe that. You go get your woman. <laughs> Why is the president saluting you? That's what's up. Admiral. What are you here, Starbuck? Nothing but the rain, sir. Grab your gun and bring the can in. Yes, <laughs> Keep the light on. I'll be back. Galactica, this is Oscar. I'm in position. Oscar. <laughs> Come on, Oscar. <laughs> All fleet ships. This is Galactica Actions. Defend the job. You just in this ship to read a book. <laughs> He's just waiting to see if they come back, I think. He's just gonna wait now. He got no fuel to be sent out there? Because that's the rendezvous point. He's at the rendezvous point. This is something else. So, <laughs> freaking oh. Lee is the president. Doggone, Admiral relinquished his his uh, command to Colonel Ty. They had a fight first. <laughs> Over their women, because he found out that daggone six is pregnant. Right. Caprica. <laughs> he been laying it down and laying it oh down. My oh my God.
That old probably man. envisioned it, Ellen, probably. <laughs> Boy, that's what the face was all yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, it's going to be something else. That's yeah. all I got to say. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be something else. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can't even think of a... Well, like Adama sitting out there waiting for uh, the chance that Rosalind and them would come back. Mm -hmm. um, Husker, as he's now known. Okay, that's his call. What's his call? What yeah, is it called? Call, call sign. Yeah. Call sign. Dang, yeah. I said call sign. Um, yeah, man. Um, you could definitely tell this is the, the final season, man, because things are just. Y'all, Ty done got that girl pregnant. <laughs> the Cylons will never die. <laughs> They was like, yeah, we saw something else. There's something else. <laughs> you <hurry> up. <laughs> that joker done put a baby in that belly. Mm -hmm. Guess what? It ain't human. It right, ain't human. Right, right. It's a sideline baby. So I wonder how long does it take before it, it's birthed? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my thing. They said pilots were on that ship. All I remember was soldiers. What pilots were on the ship? No, there, Is there, no, there, there was there? no, there was a few of them. Because remember when the Centurions walked through and everybody um, backed away and everything like that? It was a few of them. Oh, it was that ship. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't know them people though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. <sighs> you got anything else? All right, we're going to... Oh, did you talk about the dude pulling the gun out on Lee? I sure did. Go right ahead. Okay, he pulled a gun out on I don't know what the conversation was that he was talking about, why he had the gun pulled out on him. I really didn't, I really didn't concentrate on what was being said. All I know is that he was saying that he's the rightful person for the position, and that's mm -hmm. the reason why you cannot be the president. Mm hmm once I heard that, I really didn't hear anything else because that's the line mm -hmm. that carried all the other reasoning behind that. How he said, what he said, after he said that. And then Lee was like, it's all about choices. You had a choice. You had a choice. You had a choice. You had a choice. Like Oprah said. Oprah said. Mm -hmm. yep. You get a choice. You get a choice. You get a choice. Everybody get a choice. He said, you have the choice. You go back, you save your family. Or whatever the case may be. He was upset because the cat had died. Right. Yeah. yeah. He Crazy. was upset because his daughters and his wife had died. Mm -hmm. Also. Everybody lost something. Mm -hmm. Someone. In the ship. In the fleet. Yeah. Everybody has. Oh. um. They found a whole lot of ships. Radiation. And a whole lot of stuff just sitting out there because of the resurrection ship. Um. They mentioned a name of someone who they found in one of the... Pike. Like, Pike. Don't remember who that person was. Then yeah. they found another ship where it would belong to someone else. And they said that person's name, that, that call sign. And I didn't... Oh, I just poked myself. Mm. And I didn't recognize that person's name either. But a lot of people um, died in the process of the jump. I mean, died in the jump. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and then the two people that are still out there in their recon mission... They still out there. I ain't see them eat yet. Rick's track and uh, uh, I can't think of the guy's name. They out there. I ain't seen them eat nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I'm always thinking about food. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, let us know what you guys thought of that one. We're trucking along, man. We'll see y'all next time. Yep. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, wake up.